According to LG, the major focus of its V-series is to serve the largest growing trend in the market today, video consumption. Phablets make up 34% of the market with nearly 100% of the users spending most of their time browsing the web or watching video. LG's response is a new V that's far bolder than its predecessor and far better looking. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now. As part of our coverage of IFA 2017, let's go hands-on the new LG V30. Okay, so if you think that the LG V30 is just a larger G6, that's actually just from a distance. Trust me when I say that the V30 is significantly better. The curved borders of the aluminum trim match with the Ratio 2D curves of the glass front and back, make this phone seem slimmer than it really is, and the feel is just surreal, far lighter than you'd expect, even when compared to the G6. It brings a dramatic improvement in specs now with a Snapdragon 835, 4 gigs of RAM, and 64 gigs of expandable storage with the mention of an 128 gigabyte variant for certain markets. The new 6-inch full vision OLED display brings a taller 18 by 9 aspect ratio, almost making the bezels insignificant at a crazy 82% screen to body ratio. This phone continues the legacy of military grade 810G durability, and IP68 water and dust resistance finally reached the V series at the expense of a removable battery. Other things gone are the IR blaster, and the secondary display is now replaced with a blend of features from its new always on display, in addition to the optional floating bar in the user interface. That UI continues to be LG's proprietary approach, all focused on taking advantage of the taller display, and now the iconography actually got a little more cohesive. Android 7.1.2 is powering the show, and you finally get options to scale the screen from Quad HD to 1080p plus to save battery consumption. Now, what makes this phone special is that it's a content consumption beast thanks to the Hi-Fi Quad DAC support for audio even if the lack of stereo speakers might disappoint. More on that on Juan's specific audio quality hands-on as this requires a separate video. The other party trick, this phone is also a content creation dreamboat. We've continuously praised LG for its dual camera approach. Now the primary camera gets the widest camera aperture on a phone at f1.6, and the secondary also gets a boost to f1.9. Both lenses also benefit from a new crystal clear glass lens which brings in more light and reduces distortion. The camera user interface now supports selective zoom features to give your close-ups a more cinematic feel. Where we didn't find improvements was in the selfie department, something LG should really improve, but wide-angle photos and video are still here. Software improvements also make this phone the first to be able to record log video, and LG bundles services to help you color grade your video after you're done filming. The company even included support for a new service called Graphy, which lets you import manual settings from video professionals in a way to color grade your content to mimic eras or even film styles. Like seriously, the LG V30 is pretty much a phone on a class of its own so much so that we had to record separate videos going through all the features in more detail. And you can expect that same level of coverage during our review process as we spend our time with a couple of prototypes over the next few weeks. While that happens, remember our EFA coverage for 2017 has just begun. Make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to our channel as well for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.